Hall, which is the most solid building, uh, has Great. a huge sauna, and water got in the mud in the operating theaters and in, in the ward. And he said that a lot of the restaurant has been uh, damaged by water and it, and it was useless. It is very much reliant on our staff. The Red Cross has got some supplies in place, but it's far from more. Uh, the Australian government is, has got a team ready, uh, rescue workers and medical experts to try to do as much as they can. Here are the biggest news to me. At least 14 people have been killed in Pakistan after suicide bombers attacked two churches in the city of Lahore. 80 others have been injured. The blast happened as people gathered for Sunday worship services. The Pakistani Taliban is often targeted Christians as claims responsibility. For four years since the uprising in Syria that led to the current civil war, hundreds of thousands of Syrians have been killed, millions displaced. The BBC's Abba Salaam says more. Four years ago, thousands of Syrians, inspired by revolts in Egypt and Tunisia, took to the streets calling for political reform. It was a demand that was met with violence, as Syria's government cracked down, which militarized the uprising and transformed it into an all-out civil war involving regional powers and radical groups. Since then, and according to the United Nations, more than 220,000 Syrians have been killed. Nearly half the country's men, women and children have been forced to flee their homes. It is, the UN said, the worst humanitarian crisis of our era. Today, as the Syrian conflict enters its fifth year, the international community remains divided and appears incapable of finding the consensus needed to stop the killing. From the United States News, London. Here at home, a jury in Toronto continues to deliberate the case of two men charged with several terrorism-related offenses. Saeed Jasser and Shahed Ekabayer are accused of plotting to derail a fuel rail train traveling between New York and Toronto. The two were arrested almost two years ago. Today will be the jury's fifth day of deliberation. Police in Montreal are preparing for possible trouble during the march planned for today. Riots are held every March 15th in the city to protest against alleged police brutality. And in the past, some marches have erupted into violence, of course, and wounded and vehicles burned. Looking for the biggest name in film Canadian movies in North Canada in Ontario this weekend, the Juno Awards are coming. Here's BBC's Deanna Signal. When the Juno Awards are handed out tonight, expecting to see lots of performances and two awards, prizes in both of our categories were handed out in an untelevised gala last night. Japanese film for stage set the call that will involve everyone from Alanis Morissette to Team Armstrong from our Mendez. Jason Hogarth is not only nominated for song in an album of the year with the band Headley, he's also the female host. He should make Sean nervous. He used to losing awards on our TV, so that should be uh, part and parcel of the production. It uh, should be kind of fun to be both of them. 